Hi everyone, my name is Judith Martin Lucas and I'm from the University of Salamanca. I'm going to present the On Life Self Connect ID project, construction of youth identity in a hyperconnected world. As we can see in this figure, it is estimated that the number of electronic devices will grow exponentially in the next decades. So it is a fact that few people today can live without the use of these devices and the connectivity that they entail. We are hyperconnected. It means that we are permanently connected to artifacts, information and people. And especially youngsters are the ones who live this hyperconnectivity more intense than the rest of the society. They are precisely at an age where identity is built. This means that digital technologies are greatly affecting the ways and scenarios where our young generations are building their own identity. In this sense, ubiquity, connectivity, easy accessibility, among others, are drastically changing the ways in which individuals and society act, think, uh, act, act and think about themselves. Two key factors are promoting this hyperconnectivity. On the one hand, we can say that new generations increasingly find it difficult to distinguish between online and offline activities. So we are increasingly living online. On the other hand, our identity is constructed in spaces that now are changing. It means that before the internet arrival, our identity was constructed in spaces differentiated by physical boundaries. However, the virtual environment allows us to both migrate and also build new, new spaces that are increasingly blurring these boundaries. As a result, the construction of the self occurs in an environment where ICTs have embodied our spaces, both personal and social, and have created new spaces in which our identity can be both individual and multiple. Taking into account the above, we consider very important to study this phenomenon from the point of view of pedagogy, and that is why we present Connect ID Project, the hyperconnected identity of youth and their perception of time in digital leisure. In this sense, we have a main objective. The main objective is to understand the processes of construction and reconstruction of young people's identities and analyze in what way and to what degree hyperconnectivity and the self perception of connection time in different digital leisure spaces are related. So, in this sense, uh, we have three specific objectives. The first one to analyze your perception of their leisure time and in particular the time they dedicated to technologies and the use of internet. The second one to study the risk perception and the third one to analyze the perception of families regarding the time and uses of technology. So in that way uh, we have two phases. The first phase uh, that will be collected through qualitative and quantitative methods uh, that uh, are semi structured interviews and group discussions. Those ones carried out with young people from 12 to 18 years old, family, children in that age range, teachers and educators, and a survey only carried out with young people. In the second phase, we will carry out two experiments. One connected, a study of time using technology through an application installed on the Joe's main mobile devices, and not connected, study of self-perception based on a period of voluntary disconnection from personal mobile devices. And well, in conclusion, uh, taking into account that the study that we present here is in the first phase, it means that the results of until today uh, allows us to understand that technological devices are exerting a strong influence as mediators in the process of building the identity of young people. So in this sense, technological education is key for young people. We need to focus on the meaning and impact 
of being permanently connected and the impact that this fact has on their, uh, their identities and on the multiplicity of identities that they can develop in digitally. So thank you so much. If you want to know more information about this project and all the projects related to that, you can go to uh, through the web, uh, website and also you can write an email to uh, this those directions that we uh, write here. So thank you so much.